Vermont Food Bank hosting their annual Hunger Action Conference in Killington today. NBC5's John Hawks was there and has more on what this will mean for Vermonters struggling to make ends meet. After a four-year hiatus from in-person events, Vermont Food Bank welcoming participants back to their annual Hunger Action Conference. It's attended by a lot of the folks who run the food shelves and pantries and meal sites all over the state. Um, it's really important for us to get together because we do the same work. Right? We're in fellowship with our communities and we need support of each other. Networking and exchanging ideas of how to squash hunger, very important aspect of this conference. Amy Scott is the food service director at Brock Community Action in Rutland. She says there's still a big need statewide to help people get food on the table. Folks are in a lot more need than people realize, I think. So um, we're working just kind of every day to feed as many of our community members as possible. Scott says she's learned a lot, especially about different groups that call Vermont home. Listening to folks' voices and hearing folks that are not um, the demographic that I'm used to, it's important that we are supporting those um, different cultures that are here in Vermont now and people that want to become Vermonters because of course we want to be this integrated state that's all about equity. Organizers are hoping that participants can take away what they learn and bring it back to their local communities they serve to raise awareness about food insecurity in a way that inspires others to help if they can. We need to keep trying different things you know we know that hunger has been with us for a long time the food bank's been around since 1985 um, and yet we still need to feed people, so we need to be thinking outside of the box. Senator Peter Welch in attendance to show his appreciation for the hard work food shelf organizers do every day. More than anything else, I want to express my gratitude uh, to these frontline workers who got us through COVID. You know, Vermont kids, Vermont seniors, a lot of low income Vermonters in COVID, it was really tough for everyone. These frontline workers had to show up. Uh, and they really help Vermonters get through. In Killington, John Hawks, NBC5 News.